What is going on everyone? Welcome along to another video here on the channel. My name's Ash, you know me as Brahma18. Today we're continuing our suitable signing series. This is the series where I show you guys the best players to sign for a particular position based on a specific tactic. And these are based on a range of attributes that I've sort of specified and sort of identified as the attributes needed. Today we're looking at the best wingers to sign for Gegen pressing tactics. In this series, I've covered a range of different tactics and positions. We've done like strike best strikers for possession tactics and wingers for possession tactics. We did wingers for counter-attacking systems, best box-to-box -box midfielders. Um, and today, we're looking at the Gegen pressing system. So what does this series uh, and these episodes entail? Well, I split the players that I've identified into three ratings groups. We have 60 to 74, 75 to 82, and 83 to 89. The reason why we do this is just so I can give you guys sort of tailored suggestions based on your need and your requirements. If you're doing a lower league career mode, you can sign the lower rated players, and vice versa if you're doing a higher rated team. One thing that I do want to mention before we do get into it, if you haven't done so already, make sure to check out my Patreon, the link to that is down below. A range of fantastic perks on there, including my scouting package, which is real, detailed scout reports based on hundreds of hours of my own analysis on a range of different players. We have exclusive FIFA 22 tactics videos of videos that I don't cover on the channel and also my FIFA 22 tactics package where I cover every tactic that I cover and give it a deep dive and ratings and rankings etc on top of a whole host of other perks or behind the scenes videos early access all that good stuff so do go and check that out a fantastic way to support the channel and get some great perks in return right then on to the video what we do within each ratings group is we put four players into each one um, and so we just basically identified a specific group and um, you know basically the best of best of that group so first things first let me talk about the required traits what traits do we need for wingers in a gegen pressing system well first things first we're looking for interceptions and the reason being is that naturally you're going to want them to try and win the ball back quickly and part of that is not necessarily tackling you're going to want them to be able to intercept the ball cleanly you know before the pass has even reached its target so as a result what we're looking for is yes interceptions but what i will say is we're not looking for something where like 70 and 80 above you won't really find that in wingers we're just looking for these wingers who've got it the best anywhere in the 60s is very very good for a winger um in fact probably at the top top end um so that is what we're looking for there in addition to that we're naturally mm. looking for pace as you are generally looking for from your wingers you can give or take depending on if they've got you know sort of flourish in other areas which we'll talk about a bit later in the video but naturally with the the meta of fifa you want pace in addition to that we're looking for reactions and what this does is it reacts to kind of what the opposition are doing and therefore as a result do they get into the right positions from that so if they see that the opposition have passed it out to the left hand side for example does your right winger know to be in the right position at that time and get there quickly so that's very very important as well in addition, we're looking for stamina, which is natural. Because you're playing that sort of high, extreme pressing system, there's going to be a lot of running, a lot of running. So as a result, we're going to need them to be able to do it at high intensity throughout probably the entire 90 minutes. Next up, we're looking for any players with a medium and above defensive work rate. It doesn't necessarily have to be high because what I've noticed in my years and years of testing tactics on FIFA is that high defensive work rate applies more to players tracking back and following their runners for example for a winger maybe following the overlapping run of a fullback with medium you're really looking at or you're looking for players who can press high at the pitch and so as a result they're more likely to do that even with a medium defensive work rate obviously you're just looking to skip out any low defensive work rates finally we're looking for agility because it's going to be a high intensity quick quick tempo whether you win the ball back or if you're trying to win the ball back you might be trying to turn and follow the pass of an opposition player so as a result they're going to be constantly needing to switch very very quickly direction and so that's why we're looking for agility as well Right then, let's get on to the good part. Let's talk about the actual players. Starting with the 60 to 74 ratings, I got a little bit of criticism in the last video, fair enough, about how I only suggested players in the 70s in this category. So we're trying to be a little bit more sort of, 
I guess, sparing with that, how I select and the players that I select. Worth bearing in mind that that was a possession tactic. So as a result, it's harder to find players who are more suited to those possession styles in the 60 rated players. But we'll do our best. So first things first, we've got Callum O'Hare, 72 overall and 79 potential, of course, at Coventry City. Now, he's a base a centre attacking midfielder on this game. However, he can also play on left and right wing, which is why he's included. You'll also find this with a few players in this um, sort of video players who are versatile they can play on the wing this is doesn't have to be their base position it can just be one of their positions so you can rotate them in and around as well we've got Alfonso Trezza 63 overall but 69 potential obviously someone if you've got a lower league save and you want someone who can you know counter press very very effectively he's the guy um, very very cheap but what I will say is though at 22 years of age he's actually a really fun one to play with because physically he's got a lot of kind of desirable traits he's very very pacey lots of stamina high stamina and high agility as well as you can imagine at five foot five so he's just one of them who's kind of really fun to play with even despite his low overall rating then we've got valerie who is 69 overall and 79 potential he's 21 years old currently playing at herona fc in spain as well and at six foot he's more of the a taller option which we've not really found much of in this um sort of video itself there aren't a lot of kind of tall wingers he's the tallest thinking about it to be honest or not far off anyway um so he's another good option and also we got romano schmidt 71 overall and 79 potential he's at Werder bremen and he's also 21 years of age hailing from austria five foot nine again another really really good option so what about the next category then the 75 to 82 well it's a return to this series for alexis salamakas he was also in i believe the best counter attacking wingers well it turns out his stats are also very very suited to a gegen pressing system as well he's just really good really good on this game really fun to play with just one of my i guess one of my hidden gems kind of um one of my go-to guys 77 overall 81 potential he's just a very all-rounded kind of winger high high work rate as well the only one in this section who does have a high high work rate so that's kind of an added bonus to him as well and obviously the tallest guy on this list up five foot eleven after that we have Bukayo Saka 81 overall and 88 potential 19 years of age obviously we know a lot about him we also know how versatile he is you know he can play on either wing he can play at wing back as well and you can kind of slot him into a second field if you needed to. So again, he's someone who's more of a versatile piece. Very, very good. Kind of looking for that higher end. And Riddle Baku, another versatile piece because... He can play wing back, he can play wide midfield, and he can play on the wing as well. 23 years of age, still room for him to grow. He's currently 80 overall and 85 potential. Of course, you do have dynamic potential, so do bear that one in mind as well. He's at Wolfsburg in Germany. And then we have Diogo Goncalves as well. 76 overall and 79 potential. He's someone you're more looking at who, yes, he can grow a little bit, but he's kind of that... But player who, if you're looking for someone right now to come in and make that instant impact, he's kind of the guy. Definitely for someone for higher rated second tier teams and lower rated first tier teams. 24 years of age, currently at Benfica as well and hailing from Portugal. He's another very, very good option. So what about the elite category then? The 83 to 89. Well, this was very tough to find players in this category, but we did manage to find four, as it always is quite tough. First, we've got Philip Kostic. Of course, he's at Frankfurt, 28 years of age. Age. 84 overall no room for growth but again you do have that dynamic potential element so do bear that one in mind he's from serbia six foot again he's someone who is versatile he can play at fullback wing back wide midfielder on the wing you know you can get a lot of positions out of him so that is really really handy We've got my favourite one in this section, Rafinha, 83 overall and 86 potential, 24 years of age, currently at Leeds United and coming from Brazil. He's one who's just you look at his stats and his attributes, you know, like the weak foot, the skill moves, etc. Very pacey, lots of energy. Um, he's just really all-rounded and so, so fun to play with. He really is. So he's definitely, like I say, one of my favourites on this list. And then we've got Bernardo Silva. Again, as we spoke about with Callum O'Hare earlier in the, the video, naturally a centre attacking midfielder, but can play on either wing, in particular on the right, cutting inside onto his left. He's done that often for Man City. Not so much this season, but definitely in the seasons prior. 86 overall, still a little bit of room for him to grow, even at 27 years of age. 
and as we kind of spoke about very very versatile as well and then rounding off we have Lucas Ocampos 83 overall and 83 potential he's also 27 years of age and he's currently at Sevilla um, comes from Argentina he is the tallest one in this list as we spoke about there's not many overall in this video but at six foot two um, you know kind of gives you that added bit of height and strength as well that you may be looking for again a really good option for someone if you're looking for a cheaper um, kind of option than someone like maybe Rafinha or Bernardo Silva but very very good can come in and slot now and, and really not find himself wanting in the majority if not any team um, in the game so another really really good option as well right then that just about rounds it off for this video if you've got any suggestions for other players you feel i may have missed do get at me in the comment section throw them out there there's been some fantastic possession suggestions over the course of this series um you know that i've really really liked so keep on you know throwing them at me and uh, i really appreciate that if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notifications every time i upload and also don't forget to check out my patreon the link to that is down below lots of fantastic perks on there that i think you guys will really really enjoy follow me on twitter the link to that is also down below in the description and drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more on that note we are going to round it off there thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you soon